Hey guys, this is gonna be an explanation video for beginners on exactly what Cash App is and what it does. So, the Cash App is gonna be an application that you can download and install on your iPhone or Android device. I'm on Android, so I was able to download and install it through the Google Play Store. But once we have our Cash App, we can click on it to launch it. And if you need a detailed tutorial video on how to set up your Cash App account, I'll have a separate video linked down in the description if you'd like to access that. But the main function of Cash App is going to be either requesting or sending funds to friends or family. You can also use this potentially at different businesses that might have a Cash App option to purchase things with. But this is the homepage of Cash App with this tab down here that's the little dollar sign. So let's say you wanted to request money from a friend or family who owes you money. Let's say they owe you 10 bucks so we can enter that in here. Then we can click on request. And you can enter in their name, their cash tag, phone or email that is associated with their Cash App account. You can add a note if you'd like to do that. And then you can request those funds. It'll send a message over to that person that you are looking for this money. Now, going back to the previous page, you can also send funds to friends or family. For instance, let's say you owe somebody 10 bucks. So you can enter that in here and then you can click on pay. And then the same thing, you can enter in their name, their cash tag, phone or email that is associated with their Cash App account. You can add a note and then you can click pay to send those funds over to that individual. There's some additional options here where you can send a gift card through Cash App, you can send a stock, or you can also send Bitcoin. Now going back to the homepage. Now there's an additional option here on the homepage. If you don't want to send a US dollar currency, which is what I currently have selected, you can click this down arrow and you can select Bitcoin if you'd prefer to send that instead. I'm going to continue to go through the different tabs here at the bottom. So all the way over here on the left hand side, this is going to be your cash app balance. So I currently have $15 in my balance. If you have $0 in your balance, this is going to look like a little image of a bank, but we can click on that. This is going to open us to our money page and we can see our cash balance right there. You can add cash with this option. You can cash out your balance and send it over to a bank account, for instance. You can set up a Cash App savings account. This is where you can set up Bitcoin, where you can either receive or send Bitcoin or purchase it or sell it. You can also set up a stocks account on Cash App and they have different stocks that you can purchase. The next tab here, it looks like this little icon of a card. And this is going to be if you want a cash card, you can get it for free by going through the process here. This is going to essentially give you a card that you can use to buy things. For instance, if you have funds in your cash app balance, it's going to use those funds when you're making purchases with your cash card. The next tab is the home page, which we've already gone over. So the next option here is the little magnifying glass and scrolling up to the top. We can see that we can send a gift card instantly to others. We can send Bitcoin with this option. We can pick and send a stock to somebody with this option. There's also some different offers here that you can get access to. And if you want, you can search for people or businesses here at the top. The next tab at the bottom is this little clock, and that's just going to essentially be your transactions history. Going back to the home page, you can see here in the upper left hand corner, there's this little square icon, and this is going to allow you to scan QR codes. Perhaps you're at a business that has a QR code to purchase things through Cash App. You can scan that QR code with this, or you can scan the QR code of a friend or family if you're sending or requesting funds from them. So I just clicked on that square. Again, you have the option to scan if you're in the scan tab. Otherwise, in the my code tab, it's going to list your QR code if somebody else wants to scan your code, or you can also get access here to your cash tag, which is going to be in this area. And the last thing that I want to touch on is your profile icon here in the upper right hand corner. We can select that. This is an additional area where you can see what your cash tag is, as well as an additional area where you can get access to your QR code by clicking this option here in the upper left hand corner or for scanning somebody else's QR code. You can share your account with somebody else through the share option. You can invite friends or family and potentially get $5 if they use the Cash App after signing up. Scrolling down, this is where you can change different account and settings information, your personal information. It's important to note that this is where you link bank accounts. So you start off by linking a debit card from another bank account that you may have. And once you do that, it'll give you additional options that you can link different bank accounts or a credit card. And you can do that in this area. And that'll wrap this one up. So I hope this video going over and explaining exactly what Cash App is and what it does was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. And again, if you'd like to sign up for Cash App yourself, I'll have a video posted down in the description on how to go through the setup process if you need additional help with that.